is the charm again at the 46. As you look behind Nate Longshore. Here they come. Blitz on the way. Flags are down. The ball is, oh, man. Deshaun Jackson almost got beheaded by Kevin Ellison. Kevin Ellison hit him with a forearm. I mean, this was a shot. And Deshaun Jackson is up. He lost his helmet, and he's up. But I think the movement in the backfield was actually was uh, Marshawn Lynch. He had to move because he saw the blitzers coming. Jace Richards, our referee, the penalty declined. You'll see the hit after the pass. Come from the left side right there. That's Mawa Luka. Right there. They, 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 wanted, they wanted to be physical with Sean Jackson. He's going to be with CJ Cable and some of the other young backs in that backfield tonight for USC. And here is Gable on the run into the secondary. Still going. All the way down to the 38-yard line. C.J. Gable, the freshman, 6'1", 190, and a 17-yard gallop. Yes, when we were talking to the offensive coordinator, Lane Kiffin, the other day, he said, we cannot beat this team unless we can run the football. And so far, every time they've run the ball, I think the, the worst they gained was four yards. In total offense, pretty good considering eight new starters. Blitz off the corner, the cutback run where the blitz came from, and a big gainer for Gable again, down to the 20-yard line. He made an adjustment in the backfield, and he ran right where the blitz came from. You know what happens on this thing? They have a corner blitz, and, and what happens is the corner, when he comes in, on the right-hand side, when he comes in, he looks at the quarterback. See him? If he go, he doesn't even pay attention to the running back. He's looking directly at the quarterback, stays back here with him, and then they just went up the field for a first down. All the way down to the 20-yard line. The throw is complete. Jared again, first and goal, USC. Hey, guys, let me tell you something. I'm standing up. I'm sitting here. I'm looking straight down at this thing. There were five white shirts. Five of them in the area where that ball was thrown to Jarrett. And it was the perfect pass. Look at all the white shirts. What, when he's right here, there's one that almost has the interception. There's the other three there. And there's one that just went. Bu long shore play action. Gonna go long for Deshaun Jackson. And it is intercepted. Picked off by Taylor Mays, the freshman. Well, Jeff Tedford decided to go for a home run ball, and Longshore is picked off for the 11th time this year. He tried to get it to Jackson, his big play guy. Now watch Thomas, he's gonna turn him over. Right there, he turns him over to Mays, the safety. Mays, number 29, sees the ball all the way. You know, Fred, if you're gonna turn it over, this is not a bad place to turn it over right. on, on the opposition. Plenty of time, now runs out of it, and ball is out again. Fumble, and USD's got this one. Cedric Ellis comes up with a football. And I think it was Lawrence Jackson that's the guy that caused it. Jackson did cause it, and Longshore never saw him coming. Look at on the right-hand side of Longshore. He's still looking downfield, and look at right from behind well, is where Jackson came. He never saw him. Well, you got to expect him, though, Paul. Anytime you're in the pocket that long and you start sliding around, you got to expect somebody to come back from behind you and knock it out. Kidnap. Second down and a long seven. Three wide receiver offense for John David Booty, but he'll keep it on the ground to C.J. Gable. And Gable is going to have a first down before Bishop can bring him down at the 46-yard line. Two guys that ended up with great pro careers as well. Ron Year. Good time to throw it up. Might be the time to go on top. There's the play action. Booty loads it and fires near sideline. Wide open is Steve Smith. Inside the 30 and down to about the 24-yard line. Desmond Bishop knocked him out of bounds, but a gain of 23. We saw them work on this play 
time and time again on Thursday. When they threw that ball out, they got Steve Smith, and then they throw it to him on the outside. This was this was just easy. Smith in the slot. The outside man clears it out by going straight down the field. It's a three-man route. Hughes and Justin Forsett await the kickoff. This one should be returnable. At the eight-yard line, four sets. With a big hit. And the ball is out. Still loose. Who's got it? I think California got back on top of it. Thomas Dayquil, I think, number four. Being on the field, we'll check in with him and Aaron here in the next moment or two as Cal will kick away to USC to start the third quarter. And we are underway. Gable and Joseph wait on it. And at the four-yard line, it's C.J. Gable. And Gable got a block, cut outside, and C.J. down the sideline. Nice return to open up the third quarter. Somebody to start the first offensive march of the third quarter. Late fake. Moody wants to throw, does, completes it. His tight end, Fred Davis, broke a tackle. Davis has got a first down. Fred Davis, who didn't start the ball game, Dale Thompson did, but Davis is a big play tight end as they have had here in the past few years. That's his 25th catch of the year. Excuse me, here's the tight end right here. He's going to slip out. The fake is going to be to our right side. The tight end goes that way and then comes back. Lane Kiffin, the offensive coordinator, I think is going to come out the second half and open it up and start throwing the ball. Gable. Off the right side, C.J. Gable's got something working. All the way down inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. Boy, he didn't run like a freshman. 24 more yards for C.J. That's one of the stable of two freshman running backs for Southern California. Wait. Take a look. Go ahead, I was just going to say, when you look, you keep pounding it up and pounding it up and pounding it up, and all of a sudden when you get to the outside, if one guy makes his block, there is this, there's that, that hole you're looking at. If you get that one guy kicked out, and you get a one guy seal in. Postseason maybe for both of these teams and where they might head bowl-wise, and he's carrying the mail. Number 25, second down and long, booty, throwing. What a catch by Dwayne Jarrett. You know, Dwayne Jarrett's not getting many balls tonight, but you can just tell. Well, the Golden Bears of Berkeley were tied at nine with 125 left in the third quarter. Gable, C.J. Gable into the secondary again. And he looks to have a first down. C.J. Gable might be on his way to 100 yards on the night. He came in with only 159 on the whole season. But he's got 80 right now. I talked about Deshaun Jackson gliding. Watch this guy glide. I mean, you know, these guys, these guys really wait for the hole, and they're patient. He's a young man. He's a freshman. But watch how patient he is into the hole. He just waited, waited. Abel stays in the backfield. Now David Booty back to throw. Fires complete. Steve Smith's got it. First down. Out of the who said this week, I've been in some big games, but it's really nice that I'm in a game where we're playing for something. Are they ever playing for something here in this fourth quarter? Booty to throw again. Throw short this time to Gable. And Gable off to the races. C.J. Gable at the 35. 30. Got a block from Steve Smith. All the way down to the 18-yard line. And the freshman is growing up in front of 92,000. Well, he may be growing up in front of 92,000, but John David Booty, that was him. Here's the guy that steps up. Look at the patience, Bob, that you've been talking about with Booty and the way he looks around. And he's got great blocking in the offensive line. Look, he steps, he steps, he steps, and then he sees Gable and lets Gable do what he does best, and that's run with the football. But that was Booty. He just waited and waited and waited, and that offensive line gave him time. And you know what? Talking about freshmen, as I said, you are right. And there's Ronnie Lott Ronnie standing Lott. with him. Yeah. Two Ronnie the, Lott looks like he's ready to hit somebody. Two of the greatest that have ever played, not only here, but in the NFL. Booty, deep middle. Got him! Touchdown! Dwayne Jarrett!
Garrett's still down, but he's got the Trojans in the end zone. There he is up here, number eight. Just going to run a skinny post, go down, fade to the inside. Boy, he knew he was going to take yeah. the hit he took, and he held out of the ball. Ball you know, was right where it needed to be, and he hung on. You know, Bob, the one thing about him is when, when he was waiting is, is Jarrett, and he waited, he waited till the last second to stick his hands up to catch the ball, and then it was all hands. I mean, it was perfect timing between he and Booty. Because his knee's been bothering him, and John David Booty's got his offense lined up on a fourth down and a short two. C.J. Gable, the tailback in the eye. Booty's going to throw for it. Got a man wide open, and he's got him. Steve Smith, touchdown Trojans. Steve Smith might be the wild card in this game because Damian Hughes has played so often on Dwayne Jarrett. Get a load of this. That's his eighth catch of the year on fourth down, and this one's a touchdown. Well, he was the kid that was in motion when he came down the line of scrimmage. And I, I'm just watching this whole thing. He got lost. Nobody picked him up. He got lost. He comes out into the open. They hit him for the touchdown. That was beautiful. And a gutsy call on a fourth and two. And now Danello in for the point after. Up and good. <laughs> Will Farrell. He could probably do the same thing out there. If he had the right uniform. Here's Smith right here. He's going to go in motion and then just come down and run a deep post to the outside. I mean, a corner. Usually on fourth down, the defense is up there also. So it gives you an opportunity to send some guy deep so you look deep and see if it's there. And if it's not, you come off to the short receivers. Booty did a great job of faking the play and then finding Smith behind Hughes for the touchdown. That cheap, but I'm sure I'm sure Bev would appreciate it. <laughs> in 15. Waiting moments, Longshore steps up, fires, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Mozique McCurtis. And that will do it. And there will be better days for Nate Longshore, but again, the throne belongs, as we said about three and a half hours ago, to the Trojans of you.